And just for us, here she is. I done already done one book on Madonna. That was the biography. It's all about her music, um, the story of her as a recording artist. But since then, she's become a phenomenon, a goddess, an icon. And there was um, a, need, a need for a book to, about her image and all the complex reasons behind it. She's created a new kind of feminism. She's added um, the image of power and strength to the softness of like women's curves. <laughs> She's the one that spots the ideas and takes them off the catwalk and onto the streets so she makes them popular, otherwise they might only be these bizarre creations that ever, you know, existed on the catwalk. Come on girls, can you believe in love? Cause I got something to say about it, and it goes something like this. Like this. Where she has her own style really is that she has an attitude. Carly Minogue wears the same clothes. She looks like she's pandering to male fantasy. But if Madonna wears those clothes, you know, there's, there's no messing about with her. She's doing it because she enjoys being a woman. Madonna went blonde and I went blonde and it just took off from there. Basically when Papa Dog Preach came out, I went and got my hair cut like that and I got a t-shirt that said a Callum to a bear and just went to... I have done Madonna all over Europe. Um, I've done Greece, um, Germany, Italy. I've, I haven't done France yet, I'm to do there. I think you have to be a fan of Madonna to do a lookalike. You've got to like that person you're portraying because then you'll give a better act. Don't try too hard to get that Madonna look. There is a much easier way. Well, this is just about where we finished this month's show, but of course we'll be back next month with more European reports on the fact.